Chicago. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. I'm on here a day early this week because I've got um, a commitment on Thursday night, so I'm not going to be able to hop on then, but I'm super excited about this recipe, y'all. I actually uh, am a total fan of P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps. I used to eat them all the time when I was in college. I have not had them in a long time, but um, today I'm going to kind of share with you guys my sort of own version of them, and we're going to do both tofu and chicken. So I'm vegetarian for the most part. I like to kind of go with uh, tofu in these but I'm gonna do a, a chicken version as well. So these would be great for a low carb day, which is today in Trim Boot Camp. And before we get started, a little reminder that our next round, hey Sally from New York, what part of New York? How fun. Um, our next round of Trim Boot Camp, our group program, our eight week group program, kicks off on Monday. Uh, hey Anna, it kicks off on Monday, uh, November, I can't believe we're already in November, November 9th. Um, you guys can get all the details at smokefitness.com slash trim. I'll go ahead and put it up in the banner as well. Um, but it's our eight-week nutrition fitness boot camp. Um, this round we're including, this in the December round, we're including the holiday guide, uh, which is a 42-page guide that we put together on holiday recipes, how to survive parties, how to get back on track, quick workouts for travel, quick workouts for the days when you don't have time to work out, um, how Val and I approach going to a party, how we approach recovering from a party. Um, we've given you basically everything that you need to, um, cool Sally, I love New York. Um, everything that you guys need to get through the holiday season, stay on track, but still most importantly, enjoy the holidays. So um, if you sign up for trim in November or December, you get access to that, which is really cool. Okay, so let's go through what we need for this recipe. So this is a healthy fashion recipe. Um, and if you're making the tofu version, you need tofu. Uh, I like firm tofu, extra firm tofu for this, and I like to do um, organic with any soy. I just find that, hey Cynthia, um, I just find with any soy, you just wanna buy the highest quality you can, so I always go for organic here. And then for the chicken version, you just want some fresh ground chicken. Uh, I like Whole Foods, they have the best chicken in my opinion. So that's what you need, depending on which version. And then everybody is going to need green onions. So I actually need a half a bunch of green onions for each, um, so about three green onions, and you want to use the whites and the green part. And then we've got some ginger, fresh ginger, which is gonna give it so much delicious flavor. Um, I really just, I love fresh ginger. You could use dry ginger if you want, but um, this, a little bit of this goes a long way. And then garlic, so uh, fresh garlic. And then some water chestnuts, which are classic in lettuce wraps, and they add that nice crunch. So I love these. And then for the sauce, um, you need hoisin sauce. So this stuff, I got at Whole Foods as well. Um, it's basically just a combination of like sugar, soy sauce. Uh, it has a lot of different things like molasses, cornstarch, some onions, some garlic. Um, hey Kelly, uh, chili powder. So a lot of flavor is gonna be in this sauce and you don't need a lot of it. So a little bit goes a long way here, but uh, it's gonna add so much delicious flavor. And then of course the butterhead lettuce that you're gonna wrap up your, um, for your lettuce wrap. And then for pantry items, we've got some Rice vinegar here, some soy sauce, and then I'm gonna do sesame oil, I think, unless I don't have any, then I'm gonna go with just olive oil. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have any sesame oil. So I'm gonna go olive oil, salt, and red pepper flakes. So pretty, pretty simple. Um, and then to get started with the tofu, first things first, you wanna press it. So when working with tofu, you always wanna make sure that you drain the water off and then you press it. And what that does is it really allows um, all the liquid to get out. Tofu is really cool in that it really doesn't have a lot of flavor on its own. So I like to um, really flavor it well, but you can't do that when it's in that water that it comes in. Uh, so what I like to do is press it and then it sort of will absorb whatever you put it with. So to do that, you're just gonna take it and drain it off and take it out of the little plastic container. I cut it here, so I'm gonna have to cut it again. Then you're just gonna go ahead and slice it down. So I just like to slice it into thin, sort of thin slices, maybe a half inch. Um, and then I'm gonna put it between a clean towel with some paper towels. So just like this, take your knife. Uh, we're gonna end up crumbling it. So again, how you slice it really doesn't matter all that much, but I've got about six slices here. And then I've got a clean, clean towel. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a paper towel down as well, just because you never know with all my animals looking at my laundry. So I'm gonna lay some paper towels down here and you could do this ahead of time if i had planned ahead i would have pressed this and just kind of let it sit so it's ready to go but we'll we'll do it sort of quick so just lay it out like this on the paper towels fold it over 
and then kind of fold it over there and then you just want to put something heavy on top of it so i'm going to put my laker day um, i like to sometimes put like a cutting board in my vitamix but anything that really just puts some weight to sort of press out that water hey Brittany, i think you're going to love this recipe i'm making lettuce wraps with tofu and chicken so this would be perfect for your family um, okay so then to get started i'm going to kind of do both at once but i'm essentially going to double the recipe and then just do two different skillets so if you guys struggle with um, kind of fitting in your lifestyle and your goals while feeding your family, uh, a healthy passion definitely is a big help for that because a lot of the recipes can be easily adapted to make everyone happy. Hey mom! Uh, so for this one again, I'm cooking once, I'm eating you know two different styles of meals. We got a meat and a vegetarian version, but I'm just making one meal and that's kind of how I approach you know with my clients um, when they say they want to feed their family but they don't want to have to cook two different meals. I really kind of teach them how to take one meal and make everybody happy. Yum, it sounds so good. Hey, Terry. Okay, so garlic first. So all you want to do is just take it and give it a whack. So we're just kind of thin slicing it here. And if you guys aren't familiar with why I like to thin slice it, it's really just to give it a nice surface area. I find it just has so much more flavor. It also makes it a lot less likely to burn as well. So uh, by cutting it to thin slices versus mincing it, your risk of burning goes down a lot. And when garlic burns, I don't know if y'all have ever had it, but it tastes very bitter and disgusting. So you want to try to avoid that. And with healthy passion, I kind of think through um, and try to reduce the margin of error as much as I can because I get it, not everybody is a, a professional chef or, you know, cooks all the time. So I try to make it as easy as possible. Hey, Laura. Okay, so garlic is there. So two cloves of garlic for each, each dish. So essentially I did four. Give that a nice rinse. Let me grab a clean towel. You guys see Lucy? She thinks every time I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking for her. Okay, so garlic's gonna get sliced. It's nice and thin here. And then same with the ginger. If you guys haven't worked with fresh ginger, I encourage you to grab some. It seriously makes a big difference, like I mentioned, um, in the, the flavor of the dish. But it's really, really easy to work with. So you just take it just like this, and then I'm gonna break it off here. And then what you wanna do is just kinda take your knife and cut um, the skin off. You could use a peeler, but I'm just not a big fan of getting out another tool. Um, some places will tell you as well to kind of use a spoon, and that works as well, but I just have my knife here. Um, yeah, Brittany, it's good for low carb base. So the hoisin sauce is the only thing with sugar in it. Uh, it has three grams of carbs per tablespoon, so that's about what it'll add to the dish. There's not a lot of veggies in this other than the, the butter lettuce and the um, green onion. And then the water chestnuts have, um, let's see, the whole container has uh, 16 grams of carbs per grams of fiber, so again, you divide that between two recipes, I'm using a half container, and then between two people, you're looking at, I don't know, five or six net carbs. So yes, this would be a good low carb day recipe, absolutely. Okay, then for the ginger, you wanna take a peek at it, and you wanna see where it looks kinda of like a ring on the tree. Um, what you'll do is you'll just set it up like that, and that'll allow you to sort of thinly slice it without much resistance. If y'all have ever had trouble cutting into fresh ginger, and it kind of like gets stringy, um, just try flipping it over. I feel like that'll help a lot. Okay, so same here, thin slices. And again, I love cooking sort of one dish, but two different variations um, this way, because it's kind of like one time you're cooking, one time you're cleaning, it's not a lot of extra work. So that's gonna go in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some heat on my skillets and go on medium heat. The last thing I'm gonna add is green onion. And again, I'm gonna use the white part of the green onion in the dish, and then I'm gonna garnish with the green part. So you wanna save everything. So I'll just take them, kind of slice the bottoms off. Slices. And I just love green onion. I feel like it's such a nice, mild onion flavor. And it adds pretty color as well. So I'm going to go pretty far up, probably about two thirds of the way up. And then I'm just going to add those in to the pan. And set the rest aside and kind of clean up here. I keep a clean workspace. And also I like to clean as I go. I feel like that's another tip that I can share with you guys if you are, you know, struggling to make time to cook and clean and all that. If you kind of clean as you go, it really speeds up the process. Everyone's making an appearance tonight. Hey, Will. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little drizzle of olive oil. Uh, if you have sesame oil, that would also work. That would probably be what I would recommend, just to add a little bit more flavor since chicken, ground chicken is overly flavorful on its own. Um, and same with tofu. So we'll get that in there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and 
to my chicken. So I'm doing a half pound of chicken. So this is a one pound container. So obviously half. And I had it frozen, so it's kind of still trying to defrost, but it should be all right. So that's going to go in there. And honestly, if I was making this not a healthy fashion recipe, I would double it because it makes amazing leftovers. You could put, you know, this into um, a wrap on like a regular macro day. You could put it over rice on a regular macro day. So I would double. Excuse me. I would double it. <laughs> That's the cutest noise I think I've ever heard. Um, I would double it and then just serve it two different ways for a regular macro and a low carb day. Okay, so that chicken is in the pan. And then I'm going to take my tofu, so you can see where I've pressed it, all that liquid's come out onto my towel, and I'm just going to take it and kind of crumble it in the skillet here. And our goal here is going to be just to kind of brown it up a little bit, give it some nice texture. So you want crumbles, but you don't want like too finely crumbled. You want to get some good color on it. Okay, so that looks good. Can they heat up? Usually it heats up a lot quicker. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Also, let me know what you want to learn about this week. I haven't planned out tomorrow and Wednesday yet. Um, I'm going to do that here tonight in a little bit. But if you guys have any, you know, things that you want me to focus on this week, let me know. I'm happy to talk about whatever. Hey, Judy. Okay, so then, oops, I forgot a tofu. Once everything's in there, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the whole pound of chicken. What the heck? Make it easy to have leftovers. Okay, so once everything's in there, then we're gonna season it up. Now, keeping in mind that we're gonna be seasoning it with soy sauce as well. So I kind of like, whenever I use soy sauce, I like to go a little bit lighter on the salt just because soy sauce has so much sodium in it. So just a little pinch of Celtic salt here and a nice pinch of red pepper flakes to give it some heat. So red pepper, red pepper, I like my heat. Um, and then, again, enough Celtic salt to really season the meat and the tofu, but you don't want to go crazy. And then from there, we're just gonna let everything get nice and brown. So we're gonna brown the chicken, and we're going to give the tofu a little bit of color. And while that's happening, I'm gonna get these little um, water chestnuts drained and rinsed. So again, we're using a half of a can per recipe. Um, if you guys, like, want to use a whole can, I would just double the recipe, but I like the little bit of added crunch, but I didn't want to go too crazy on carbs here. So we're just going to drain them off and then dice them up. I love water chestnuts. They're so good. That is such a nice texture. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get them out here. And you know, honestly, I love crunch on low carb days, so I really try to find things to add in to add a nice crunch because a lot of our crunchy foods are all carbohydrates. So, hey Amy, hey Josephine. Just wanna take them, kinda let your knife run through them. I like to keep them again, not too tiny of pieces. You want a nice bite, so you get that good crunch in there. And that looks good. Okay, so we set those aside. Give our meat a stir. Get our tofu pan still kinda heating up. I'm gonna break this up. Again, it's still a little frozen. But that's okay. okay. The biggest thing I wanna make sure is that the green onions and the garlic and the ginger kinda of get throughout the meat. I don't want them to kinda of burn on the bottom. Yes, nice crunch. I love them, Amy. Crank this up a little bit because it's a little flaky. Actually, we'll switch to the back burner. Can't let the chicken beat the tofu. Hey, Robin. Okay, so now we're gonna make the uh, dressing for the lettuce wrap. So basically, it's just gonna be what we're gonna pour over at the end to kind of give everything yummy flavor. So I'm going to do two batches. Um, we're gonna go two tablespoons of our hoisin sauce here. So again, this just has so much flavor. It's kind of all in one. Be careful when you buy the hoisin sauce. What's it smell like, Mike? Good. It smells like you better be done quick so I can eat it. <laughs> smells good. I'm pretty hungry, and that smells great. <laughs> I love garlic. 
Yeah, just just chilling. I had to get my my Yeti koozie. Here we go. Okay, so poison sauce is going in there, and then soy sauce and rice vinegar. So we're gonna go a tablespoon of our rice vinegar and a tablespoon of our soy sauce. And I like the rice vinegar. It adds just a nice acidity, a nice tang. Uh, I just feel like it's so. I don't know. I, just, I love that acidity that comes into it. I feel like sometimes your Asian food can be a little salty, so I find it sort of balances it out. And then tamari soy sauce. Tamari is just a gluten-free soy sauce. You could use regular soy sauce as well. About a tablespoon of that. And then I can always add a little bit more at the end of taste. So if I feel like it needs a little more sodium, I'll go in there and, and add a little bit more, but I like to go a little light on it that way. You don't overdo it. You can't take salt out. Okay, so these are going well, I'm going to kind of give it a stir, and again, you just want to brown the chicken up, sort of break it up, flavor it with all that delicious garlic and ginger. Hopefully it's starting to do its thing, so I'm just going to, again, give everything a stir. You could add carrots to this if you have carrots. Um, you could add, on a regular macro day, of course, because carrots will drive up the carbs. That's why I sort of omitted them here. Um, you could add mushrooms. I like mushrooms, especially in the vegetarian version. I find that adds kind of a nice meaty heartiness. Uh, I didn't have any mushrooms, so we're, we're going basic today. Uh, if you have, you know, if you like tempeh, you could do that instead of tofu. You could use pork, you could use turkey. Um, you know, a lot of different options for this. I kind of went with the classic P.F. Chang's version of tofu and chicken. Okay, so that's breaking up nicely, starting to cook. So really, we're just waiting on this to cook. What questions do you guys have on trim? Does anyone have questions on trim? a little rinse. I know it's just had a mess of it. <laughs> no, I've done that on camera. How are you, Dee? Hey, Robin. Um, let's see. So trim, what can I share about trim with you? So I sent a holiday guide. Um, we've recently added a huge workout library that you guys get access to when you sign up. So uh, if you join today, you get direct access to that workout library. So you can kind of start tomorrow. I know that's something that a lot of ladies are wanting was to be able to get going right away. So that's new. Uh, we do give you a meal plan with trim. So if you guys are like, hmm, you know, I, I want to do it, but I'm just afraid I won't know what to eat or I don't have time. Oh, Terry, sure. So the sauce, actually, I did a hoisin sauce. Typically, I try to keep a healthy passion as like, simple as possible with um, what I include. But this is one of those sauces that's kind of an all-in-one. The ingredients are great on here. It has just sugar, uh, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, miso, um, some different koji spices, molasses, cornstarch, orange juice, garlic, ginger, um, some chili powder, onion powder. So it's kind of an all-in-one. Uh, if you can't find this, you could just omit it and do a little bit of honey in here and just add more uh, of your soy sauce. So, and then of course, you know, the ginger and the garlic flavor are going to be a little bit more intense if you use this. So that's that. And then I did uh, two tablespoons of that, so basically two to one ratio of that to the vinegar. And then one tablespoon of soy sauce as well, just to kind of bump up that soy umami salt flavor. And that is it. And then in here, we've just got garlic, ginger, um, green onion, and kind of cooking that down with the chicken, and then a couple of salt and red pepper flakes. So pretty simple, and same thing in there, but tofu instead of chicken. Okay, so we're just kind of browning that up. And with ground chicken, you want to make sure it's good and cooked through. You know, our tofu, there we go. Get some color. You guys can see, I don't know if you can see this, if you are a tofu fan, um, you can see how I'm getting a little bit of color on there. That's what you want. You want to make sure you don't stir it too much because you want that texture. Again, tofu can kind of like melt in your mouth. It can be sort of mushy. So you want to make sure that you really let it get good in texture. Okay. This looks good. This looks good. I'm excited. Get a little stir there. So really all you do from here is... Let it finish cooking. Yes, I did post the ingredients earlier. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I usually post the ingredients ahead of time. I try. And then um, the recipe goes into a healthy passion after, which the chicken noodle soup from last week will be in hopefully tomorrow. I got a little behind with work today, um, but I'm going to try to uh, get it in there tomorrow. Okay, so butter lettuce, if you guys aren't familiar, it's like the best thing ever. We use it in our Instant Pot chicken salad. Uh, I love it as just a wrap, especially on low-carb days. I just take this. A lot of my clients, you know, you see this on your meal plan, but I take this with some mustard, some turkey, and some American cheese. It's amazing. So that's 
So really, I like to just kind of pull them back as gently as possible without breaking them and just kind of set out the leaves like this on the plate. Very simple. Okay, so this is looking really good, actually. I think we're in good shape. And if you do use something with higher fat, like uh, ground pork, I would drain off some of the fat then. Or not. Okay, so then from here we can add our water chestnuts in. The focus still needs a little bit more love, but we'll go ahead and get the chicken. So um, get that sauce in there. And I might actually double the sauce here for the chicken since I doubled the portion, but we'll see how it tastes. Or let it all kind of cook together. And then at least add a little more hoisin stock to this one just because I doubled it. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I wish you guys could smell this. It's not the most beautiful thing. It's a lot of brown, but I promise you it smells amazing. All that ginger. Mm. I love fresh ginger and fresh garlic. So, so good. Yeah. What else do you guys want to learn how to cook? I think I'm going to do uh, some pumpkin recipes next week. I know I mentioned maybe this week, but then this popped up and I went with it. What else y'all want to learn? Mm. Okay, tofu looks good, so I'm going to toss our water chestnuts in there. And then go ahead and just cut some green onions on a bias, nice thin slices. For garnish, of course. Okay, so I'm going to give this a stir and see what it needs. Again, it might need a little more salt since I went sort of light on the salt, so I can always add salt and soy sauce there. So it looks perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and get my sauce in there. really good. Hey Leona. Wow. Okay. Maybe a tiny pinch more salt, but honestly, I think we're in really good shape here. So, heat is off to serve it up. All you're going to do is take your little lettuce, and I'll do the tofu one. Take a little bit of your filling. So same CF chain style, kind of build it yourself. Put some sriracha on top if you want, but I'm keeping it simple here. A little green onion, and just sort of wrap it up and taste. Hopefully, I don't burn my mouth, but mm. it was yummy, Lona. <laughs> Yum. Wow. Yeah, I just love that kind of cool lettuce with that hot tofu. So good. So good. So good. Okay. I'm going to get this shot, get pictures, uh, and then Lavina will be passion hopefully next week. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But I will post my schedule for the rest of the week tomorrow. I know um, I think I'm going to do 5 o'clock both tomorrow and Wednesday. So I'll be on then. Hopefully hang out with you guys. Again, if you have questions on trim, just let me know. Uh, smallfitness.com slash trim. I'll post the information in the header a little bit later tonight. But 8 weeks nutrition fitness boot camp group program. Uh, most excited to kind of take you guys through the holiday season with us. Make sure that you don't go into January feeling like you've got a lot further to go. Um, love your version of pot roast. That's a good one. Amy, I did a beef stew for a healthy passion um, last week. I haven't put it in software yet, but 
it's really good. So I'll do that. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Um, yeah, so I'll do a pot roast. That'd be a fun one. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. But if you guys are interested in trim, Terry, yeah, my mouth is watering. So is Mike's. I think he's excited. We can't wait to eat dinner, but we got to take pictures first. Hey, Susan. I didn't know you were on here. Yes, it, it's delicious. I love lettuce wraps. Can you guys see Lucy trying to spill her water fountain? She's a mess. <laughs> I feel like I need to replace a meal this week. Yeah, Brittany. I'll try to get in the software soon. You put it on next week. I plugged in your salad today. It looks so good. I watched that video like four times trying to plug everything in. It's in a healthy fashion now, too. Cool. Well, you guys have an awesome night. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.